Hi, everyone. I'm Dinah, and I will be hosting today's live workshop. And I am going live at this point in time. So um, if you can comment in the chat box or chat window for me, just to let me know that you can see and hear me okay, then we'll uh, go ahead and get started. Okay. Looks like I'm getting a few comments, um, but yes, it does look like you can um, see and hear me. Okay, wonderful. Awesome. Thumbs up. Thank you, Gary. <laughs> Thanks, Cheryl. Uh, thank you, Juan. Awesome. Okay, wonderful. Okay, well, we'll we have a lot to cover here today. So I am going to start to uh, do our welcome and introductions, and then we'll just get rolling with our content. So uh, again, my name is Dinah, and I am a customer success trainer with Easily, and we host workshops on a regular basis, of course, and trainings on how to use Easily. And today we wanted to focus on how uh, Easily can be used for, of course, business purposes, um, because you know, we definitely wanted to uh, celebrate uh, National Small Business Week. So, uh, and honor, of course, all of America's uh, small business organizations and, and entrepreneurs out there. So if you are a small business owner or entrepreneur, um, thank you so much if you're, if you're on here. Um, this, of course, is open to anyone. So we may have some nonprofit organizations as well as some uh, educators as well. So welcome. Now, um, before we go ahead and dive into our content, I did want to go ahead and just cover a few housekeeping items and uh, move along with our welcome and greeting. So uh, to begin with, uh, you know, some people are still uh, joining us here today. So if you want to take just a moment to introduce yourself in the chat window, let us know who you are and, uh, you know, where you're joining us from. That's always nice to know. And I know that people really like the community uh, that you build off of coming into one of these Crowdcast uh, workshops. So uh, thank you for responding. Uh, hi, Anil from Ottawa, Canada, and Cheryl uh, from a nonprofit trade association in New Jersey. Awesome. Thank you, Cheryl. Um, hi, Nicole, government librarian in Newark, New Jersey. Thanks for joining. And Brad from Denver, graphic designer. Okay. And uh, Margaret from Ireland, all right, all over the world. So I know a few more responses will come in, um, but thank you so much for, for replying already. I, I greatly appreciate it. Okay, so um, here is our uh, workshop agenda and what we're looking at. Uh, we are just taking a few minutes, of course, to do our welcome, and then we're gonna go over just some basic ideas and examples of how you can start to communicate visually with your customers or your audience. Um, I know that, you know, when we, when you think of easily, and if you think of building infographics, you may, you know, of course, think of these um, really in-depth and very well-researched uh, documents and with a lot of images and that certainly is you know what an infographic is but um, just if you're getting started if you're new to building infographics sometimes it's just easy to start with you know small pieces of information that uh, you may have uh, and use on a regular basis in your text and you know it's a, a just how, how can you visualize that? So we're gonna talk about that. Um, I'm just gonna give you uh, just a few steps for a mini project that you can work on on your own after today's workshop. We'll go through an Easily demo. So for those of you who are completely new to Easily and have never seen it before, we'll definitely go ahead and walk you through what it's all about. Uh, I'm really excited today for today's workshop because we are uh, doing a giveaway. Uh, we have a uh, infographic design service and so we're going to be giving away uh, to three lucky participants an infographic designed by our design team. So um, that is a value of $156. So um, you don't need to participate, but if you are interested in participating in that, then you know we'll definitely give you some uh, directions and instructions and you'll wanna pay attention because you'll be responding in the chat window for that but uh, it's a little bit towards the end so uh, just kind of uh, follow along because people may be using the basic version of easily and you may not be familiar with how to upgrade easily and the pricing involved we definitely want to provide you with that information as well and then we'll also go over any questions that you may have 
uh, in regards to using Easily or infographics in general. We'll do our best to answer those for you today. But if not, um, if we can't, uh, if we don't have an answer for you today, then you know we'll certainly go ahead and uh, try and get back to you or respond back in this uh, Crowdcast uh, link here because this is a link that you can come to to watch the replay and uh, see if there are any uh, additional questions that get get answered. Okay, so uh, in terms of welcome and introduction, another person that I'd like to introduce you to here today is my colleague, Latasha, and she is our uh, editor in chief and she is uh, available in the chat window. So as I will be, of course, hosting the session and doing the training, she is going to be helping me in the chat window and addressing any questions that you may have that I can't necessarily get to as we move along with our content. So if you can just say a quick hello to Latasha, that would be great. And I know that she's already um, said hello. So feel free to um, put questions there. Uh, another thing that I'd like to point out, um, if you've never used Crowdcast before, is that right below this video window, and you, you may need to go ahead and scroll down, you'll see that there is an area for Q&A. So if you have questions that uh, you don't want to get lost in the chat box, you know, I will look, take a look at that at the very end and see if there's any questions that I can address. Um, you'll see that that is uh, located just below the video window. Click on that link and you'll be able to see, uh, enter your questions, but then I'll see any other questions from, from the group. Next to that Q&A, you'll see that there is a link to a poll. And I have just two poll questions. So if you can take a look at that, um, I know that many of you have already responded in the chat window and told me a little bit about yourself there, but it's always easy for me to just kind of get at, a, at an overall glance as to who's actually on the call and maybe someone who might be shy, maybe didn't respond in the chat window. If, if you just want to let me know um, who you are, um, that is a great place for me to go ahead and take a look and, and get some more information about who's here today. And then also, because uh, I, I never know if people joining have experience with Easily or they might be new to Easily or may not know anything about it. If you could let me know if you've never used it before or if you've had some experience, that's helpful as well as it will guide me in you know, where I need to kind of take the demo and how in depth I may need to get. Okay, so thank you so much for responding. Um, so it does look, of course, as to be expected, we do have quite a few entrepreneurs and small business owners uh, and some professionals on our call today, because that is, of course, our focus today. But we also have some nonprofit organizations and some educators on our call today. So thank you so much for joining. And, you know, I just hope that it is still worthwhile for everyone here regardless of what your background is. Okay, and it does look like we have um, a few people that have never used Easily before, so we'll make sure we, we provide you with all the basics of that. And we have a few people that have used it a little bit. Um, that's great, and then we have um, someone who uses it all the time. So if you have any recommendations, ideas, if you want to respond to people's questions because you're familiar with Easily or just familiar with uh, information on creating infographics, then that's helpful. And you know we can all learn from each other here today. Day. Okay, so with that, it does look like I'm roughly running on time here. So I'm going to go ahead and move along. So I do have with the ideas and examples that I, I want to provide you with. Uh, I, I have these examples, of course, in my slide deck, and I want to be able to show these to you so that you can see them fairly well. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to minimize my uh, video window here so that you can go ahead and see that a little bit better. And uh, then we'll go ahead and get started. So I'm just going to minimize this <laughs> here. I'm going to hide that. Okay. Okay, so let's get started with just some ideas. So um, like I said, you know, when you think of infographics, you know, you, you think of a lot of uh, statistics, a lot of data, and all of it um, put very nicely into an infographic design. You know, they are graphic visual representations of information and, and knowledge. And, you know, it's intended to present information very quickly and very clearly. But when you're just first getting started with infographics, you know, I want to just give you as many ideas as I can in terms of, you know, how you can maybe 
start to incorporate the idea of visual elements in your communication with your customers and your audience. So, um, you know, one thing that you can do is, you know, just go ahead and, you know, how can you visualize product information or product suggestions, your service information um, visually to your customers. So here's an example from Liberty Mutual. It's just a very, very simple infographic. And of course, um, this particular tweet that they had, of course, leads um, customers and potential customers, you know, out to their website to get a free quote. And as you can see, it's just a simple little uh, image that, of course, they, they could have just left the text by itself, you know, showing how much um, a uh, customer can save when you bundle auto and home insurance. But by adding that visual in that communication, it, uh, you know, kind of attracts people to it. And you'll see, of course, that it is something that, you know, people are liking and, you know, they're retweeting and sharing. So, you know, with Anything that you can communicate visually is a great way to uh, for, for your customers to be able to share it and, you know, spread the word about your business. So that's just, you know, one very simple example. Um, you know, you can also make suggestions. So, you know, how can you make suggestion um, to your customers um, when, uh, uh, you know, on a seasonal event, you know, Christmas or, um, you know, Valentine's Day, uh, anything that that you want to be able to just be on top of. So for uh, this example, of course, this is a full um, sized infographic, but you know, think about just little pieces of information that maybe you can take and uh, repurpose it for your own purposes. So let's say you're a restaurant, for example, and you wanted to put out a tweet or um, something through social media about, uh, you know, what do women wish to receive for Valentine's Day? And, you know, based off of this information, you know, it says, you know, 54.8% of women want to receive dinner. So if you're a restaurant, how can you build just a very simple infographic that you can quickly tweet out that people can kind of, you know, think about when they're trying to think about how what they're going to be gifting for for a holiday? Okay, so another easy, easy thing that you can do is uh, do a very quick audience poll um, through social media and or maybe you have some survey data that you've already collected. If you have those results already, you know, some of those results may be uh, information that you may be collecting for internal purposes. But if you do something a little fun, something that you can maybe engage your audience in, it's something that you can uh, visualize and then communicate that back to your audience with the results. And so just an example that I pulled here is one that um, Cadbury did. And what they did is uh, they polled their uh, customers in, in Singapore and they wanted to get their, some information about their thoughts about giving and um, this infographic reflects the responses that they received and this was then um, pushed out once again through social media and um, there were quite a few people that were involved in this poll and so they were really excited to you know see the results and you know people who participated were just you know happy to see you know the responses from just their local um, you know uh, community there. So this was a really interesting thing. And this is something simple that you can, of course, do. Now, they did that full document, but of course, you can take maybe one one interesting result from your poll and uh, create a visualization of that and then push it out. Okay. Do you have um, any membership perks? that you may have for your customers, how are you communicating that information? Um, you know, if, if you have it on a business card or if you have it on your website or if you're reminding someone through an email, instead of putting maybe bullet points and a list of all of the perks that they may that you may have for your for your customers you know you may want to just add some type of a graphic image to that this is just an example from um, banana republic uh, this is actually something that came in the mail and i just you know saved it because i think they did a really good job of instead of you know you you still see the text there because there needs to be some level of explanation of course but instead of using a bulleted boring you know a list from top to bottom, you know, they incorporated just simple graphic images into that communication. 
Okay, great. Another thing that maybe you may want to communicate to your customers will be your impact. Now, uh, I know we do have some um, nonprofit uh, uh, participants here and you know I think this will really resonate with you but I know that you know even just as a business owner you may still have an impact um, on your community so you know if you are if you have a certain level of employees and you are providing jobs to your community you know these are things that you know you should be proud of and you should you know share with your community and I think that you'll get a lot of support from your local community as well so you know sh you know don't um, don't hide your impact definitely showcase that and again I just wanted to show something simple from uh, from social media and of course this is coming from fifth third bank uh, as an example but you'll see that they're uh, showing how they're building strong communities that benefit um, everyone and um, they're showing their financial uh, community uh, commitment of course and of course you're not going to have um, numbers like this of course but any numbers that you can put together is going to be valuable and I think people really want to know what type of impact you may have so um, this particular link here links out to of course more information about um, their programming and their partnership uh, at Fifth Third Bank but think about what you can share in terms of your impact and how you can create a nice little visual uh, that you can uh, showcase with your followers and your customers okay Here's an example of a newsletter that I received from a, a local charity uh, near me and uh, I was just flipping through that and you know my eye is always looking at uh, any type of infographic and I saved this one in particular so that you know I can showcase it as an example but uh, again don't feel it has to be uh, an infographic that needs to be a page long or longer you know this is something that was incorporated into a newsletter and it shows the impact of uh, the donations that they received and you know again they're just using simple icons and a graphic images attaching the numbers that they've they've collected for the past year and then maybe providing some text and context behind that so um, people can really get a, a, an overview of the impact that their donation has had on this particular organization and the lives that were changed okay so I know I'm moving through these a little quickly, but I'm just trying to give you as many um, ideas as possible. And like I said, I'm trying to give you some easy ones that you can maybe quickly do because I know, you know, uh, business owners are just so busy and you may not have time to, of course, do all of the research. But, you know, what, what's information you already have that you've already gathered and, and try to repurpose it? Okay. Now I'm just getting responses. Is there a way to make your screen? Okay, so maybe the, the screen isn't as uh, big for everyone. Yeah, I hope you can see at least enough from this. And if you'd like to uh, take a look at the slide deck, I'll be sharing this so that you have a link to it if you want to review these examples. And you know, these are just some simple uh, examples that I've gathered, but just keep your eye open and just see how um, little uh, graphic images and visualizations have been created and you know they really are all around us so you know hopefully you'll be able to uh, get some other ideas on your own okay so maybe you need to show next steps or a process and again this is uh, something that uh, came in as a flyer um, but of course this is something that you know can be created digitally um, but maybe you just have a few steps to a uh, a service that you have or a product and you know this is, has just three simple steps and it's just showing that you know in order to get milk delivered to your door all you need to do is sign up online um, and then you'll just schedule your weekly delivery date and then you'll enjoy the goodness at your door so again you know they're using that um, graphic visualization um, for this very simple um, you, you know but it is of course incorporated with some other text that uh, uh, of course supports that information okay okay another thing that you can do is that you can visualize an article or a blog post so if you are uh, creating blog posts or if you're pushing out newsletters or you're pushing out a newsletter through email how can you either visualize all of the article uh, to give a summary of what 
the content is all about, or maybe there is just a section within your article or your blog post that you can visualize to get people engaged in your content. So that's something to think about. And again, I like to give you examples of both digital and, and print. So again, this is a, a newsletter that I received from an insurance company. And of course it has text in it, but you'll see embedded within that text, there is an infographic, uh, you know, the far reaching effects of breathing problems. And, you know, it, this particular infographic isn't going to be data heavy, it's going to just have the text. But as you can see, it is um, being tied to the visualization of the human body. So it's getting me into the article. And after I take a quick look at the infographic and I've kind of consumed it, now I'm interested in reading the rest of the text and getting some additional details. So you know, think about just little ways that you can visualize maybe a paragraph or um, steps within an article. Okay. So if you are looking to create one of those more detailed infographics that you are probably traditionally um, thinking of or, or seeing, you know, maybe you may want to just use your own business, um, industry data, or even sales data. So let's take a look at some examples. So if you have any industry information that you want to gather for your customers and you think it'll be valuable for them, you know, this is more of those uh, highly researched uh, infographics that you are probably thinking of. And if this is what you're looking to create, then that is awesome. But don't feel like, you know, you need to create, you know, really detailed infographics. Just think about little ways that you can communicate visually to attract people into your other content that might be a little bit more text heavy. And once you get familiar with um, little ways that you can visualize content, then you can maybe get to the point where you're, you're creating something like this. So here's an example of holiday shopping results. Um, so that's just one example here. Uh, PepsiCo, you know, if you go uh, out to their uh, website, they are actually, this is really cool, they're creating infographics for um, their financial um, performance. And so you can take a look um, on a quarterly basis. This is the full year performance. But uh, this is just a very quick way for someone who might be a stakeholder to, to get a good look at, you know, what their financial performance was. And you can see how nicely created this was with all of the little uh, icons and images of their products. And um, you know, what, what's nice about this is that, you know, people may not dive deep into a full, um, you know, page report with all the financial data, but if you just didn't want to get a quick look at what that perform, I mean, an infographic like this does the trick. Okay. Um, so another thing that you can showcase uh, is, uh, again, going back to industry um, data, but you know, this is an example of a product spotlight on t-shirts. And this was done by a research company, of course, but um, the company that was sharing this type of infographic was a um, company that was putting uh, company logos and, uh, you know, making promotional swag. Um, so, you know, this type of information is very valuable to potential customers who is maybe trying to determine, you know, where they should invest their dollars in when creating swag uh, material. So if you, you know, is it best to put your logos on t-shirts or um, is it best to put it on uh, a baseball cap or pens or, you know, what, where will your uh, branding be seen? And so this type of infographic can be very valuable to someone who's considering doing that. So, you know, any type of industry information that you've gathered yourself already as a business owner for your own purposes could very well be important to your customers as well. And so you can gather all of that information um, and, you know, you can package it all up into a very um, detailed infographic like this, or maybe you just want to take uh, one little statistic and share that out with customers either through email or through social media. Okay, so those are my examples, and I hope I gave you enough examples to think about um, if you are thinking about uh, creating visual uh, 
images and starting to communicate a little bit more visually with, with your customers. So um, let me take a quick pause here and check in with the group. Um, what were your thoughts on some of the ideas that I just suggested? Okay, and I know you may all have, you know, different purposes for how, why you're even interested in creating infographics, but, you know, it really is uh, important to uh, use at least some level of visual uh, engagement for your customers because it really, you know, um, attracts them into your product, your service, and what you have to offer. Okay, thank you for your responses. It's really nice to see that um, some of this was very helpful to you. Okay. Okay. And, you know, those are just some examples, you know, keep your eyes peeled for what you see. Um, and, you know, think about, you know, the larger companies as well. So, you know, I gave you some examples of some really well known um, companies and organizations. So, you know, see what they're doing. And you'll see that some of the stuff isn't as complicated as as you may think. Okay, so here's the project. Here's, I guess, the homework that I have for you. And right now we're just going to think about it. And maybe if you have pen and paper, jot it down at least or make a note of it. Um, so here, here's what I want you to do. Think about all of your text-based uh, content that you may have, whether it is a newsletter you send out to customers, whether even if it's an email, um, maybe you uh, take a look at your uh, social media posts, look back on some of those. Is there something that you can uh, make more visual? And how can you make it visual for your customers? And what's nice about this is this project is that you don't really need to create anything new. Just look back on existing content, okay? And then take a, just a small piece of it uh, and see how you can create, make it more visual. So think about that, take a few notes, and as you're continuing to think about that, what I wanna do at this point is just give you a very brief uh, demo on Easily and how to get started. Because I know that there's um, especially uh, quite a few people here who have never used it before. And so I want to walk you through that. Now, after the Easily demo, then we'll go into the uh, giveaway. And I do have a few rules I have to go over with that, as well as um, just a few instructions. And so you will need to be paying attention in order to be able to participate, um, because we will ask you ask that you respond through, through the chat window for that. So let's go ahead and walk through Easily very quickly. And this, I'm going to do this, uh, you know, in about, um, I'm going to try and do this in about 10 minutes or so. Um, I, I won't be able to cover every little aspect of Easily, but uh, if you are interested in learning more, we have a YouTube channel. So you can visit our YouTube channel and I have all of my past webinars archived here and you'll be able to explore um, some of those uh, webinars where I do go into easily a little bit more in depth. We also have some tutorials and just some quick video uh, tips on how to uh, create infographics. So these are all resources you can of course go back to. And then we also have a crash course in infographics ebook and we will be sending a link to this uh, ebook out to everyone who registered here today. Um, it is a 13 page document. I do a webinar that's based off of this ebook, but all of the content in the ebook, of course, is a little bit more in depth. Um, for the educators, we do have an infographics in your classroom. So, you, you know, this is a nice 20 page ebook th that's uh, free, uh, also available. And uh, if you're interested in this one, we can send a link out to this, but you can always access this from our easily homepage and I will show that to you right now so this is our homepage once you um, log in you'll see that on the right hand side next to all of the images you'll see that there is a link to the crash course in infographics ebook so if you want to access it right away and you don't want to wait for our email then you can click on this and then here is the infographics in the classroom ebook that you can access as well okay so that I just wanted to showcase that but let me let me actually jump into 
the Easily design tool. So to get started with Easily, it's completely free. You just need to register um, with an email address and you'll be able to start using the design tool without having to um, you know, give us your credit card information. So if you just wanna check it out, then you know, this is a really easy way to see if this uh, tool is right for you. And uh, if you are looking to upgrade where you get more images and graphic icons, a full library, you know, and also have the ability for uh, uh, some uh, nice ways to download your content, then, you know, you, you will certainly want to upgrade and I'll give pricing to you. But to get started, just sign up and you can check it out. Now, you can use our existing templates or you can start fresh with a clean canvas. So I'm going to click on the clean um, canvas here and you'll see that if you're just getting started, these tips here are just suggestions on how to get started, but you can easily clear this canvas and you'll see that we you now have a, a blank fresh canvas to work off of. You can, you know, resize your uh, size of your image depending on what you're looking to work with. Also, if you go back um, to the home page, I just want to show that you can resize uh, from our home page as well. Let me get get down here. Um, you can click on this red button, set your custom size, and you can change um, the width and the height of your image by um, pixels, mil uh, millimeters, as well as inches, or choose the size from here. So there's a few different ways to go ahead and do that. So let's go back to our design tool, and I'm going to clear my canvas. Um, the first thing that I do want to point out is that if you're completely new to uh, infographics and really do need some some help with this we do have templates that you can start off with and then you can customize all of the the content um, from within so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to click on um, something like real estate for example and you'll see and I do want to point out that I am logged into the pro account so the templates that I have and all of the objects and the images are coming in from the pro account and uh, I have quite a a bit more than what a basic account so if you only have basic you'll you're going to see a lot more here with with my demo here okay so these were all templates that you can um, consider using I'm gonna go ahead and use something like food as well in case we have maybe any restaurant owners or anyone who's um, you know business is related to uh, food but you'll see that these are just some templates related to, to food okay so Anything that you're interested in um, pulling in as a template, all you need to do is drag and drop it onto your uh, canvas. So from here, this is a template and you'll see that every bit of text and every image can be deleted or uh, changed, customized. So um, this is a text box here. We can change the color. And when you click on an object, you'll see that there's this gray and white banner. Whatever is within this gray and white banner are all of the tools that you have to customize the text. So if you want to change the color that's in the template, you can certainly do that. We have just some basic colors. But if you click over to the more button, you'll see that you'll have um, the the full color spectrum and you'll be able to enter a specific code so if your business has a specific um, color that you're using you can go ahead and enter that and apply it to any of uh, the objects as well as the text um, when it does come to uh, the objects you know just keep in mind that some of them might um, be single objects and you know some of them may have multiple colors within them as well so something like this in this particular object uh, the colors you won't be able to change um, but if you have just a um, single color object such as let's say i'll pull one in here let me just do um going to do a search for idea so I'm going to maybe look for like a light bulb here is you know multiple light bulbs to choose from let me just go ahead and pick one for our purposes here okay so this is black and you know when you see something that's like a solid color when you click on the object you'll see that you can change the color of that to then at this point then match 
your content. So you can just go ahead and change the colors of those icons. And you know, with my slide deck, if you saw all the icons I use, of course, when I put them onto my canvas, they initially were black, but then I changed them over to white so that I could provide that contrast on my black slide. So keep that in mind. Okay, and I, I like to showcase that because sometimes, you know, people will take a look at the objects and they'll just see a bunch of the, the black um, objects and they'll want to customize it. And in some of these cases, you can change this. So, you know, if you don't want black, then you, you, you really have the full um, color spectrum. In some cases, it may not work for all of the objects, but for the most part, if it's a solid color, you'll be able to change that color. Okay, so with the objects, I do want to maybe show you the full image library. So if we wanted to add something like more food uh, to this, then, you know, we can certainly go ahead and take a look at the full library of food objects. Okay, and I'm going to just go ahead and just scroll um, through this. So, you know, let's go ahead and pull down a martini glass and you can enlarge these objects and what's nice about these um, images is that when you're enlarging them they won't pixelate on your image so you can enlarge them um, as much as you want and you can of course shrink them down um, without having to um, sacrifice you know the, the the look of that that image Okay, that's just an example here. But you know, when you have the pro account, it really is nice because you, you get such a nice library and it's, you know, you'll always find an icon for something that you're looking for. I always like to show people as well because some people are always looking for icons of people. So if you wanted to, you know, pull an image in, you can add images of people and there is a full library of people that you can add um, to to your infographic. So those are just a few examples there. And media, I, I do want to po point out that with the pro account, you do have a stock photo library. So there are stock photos that are included with your subscription. So you don't have to pay extra for the stock photos. They're just included with your subscription. Um, and that's this is nice just because, you know, when you're searching for images sometimes online, you always have to worry about whether or not you have the rights to use them, and, you know, and you're kind of spending and wasting a little time. But at least with the stock photos here, it's already included. You don't have to worry about that. Um, with the YouTube videos, this is also nice. All you need is a YouTube URL and you can pull it right in. So if you have um, a YouTube video for your business or your company, or if you want to share a YouTube video from anywhere on the web, uh, on YouTube, I should say, uh, that's related to your business, then you can just drop the URL and that uh, video will be in your infographic. The only thing is you, you want to keep in mind is how are you going to share that infographic? So if you're going to be sharing the infographic on the web, you know, then people will be able to watch that infographic if it's being shared through um, a browser window or if it's being embedded into a website. So if you embed your infographic, then that YouTube video will play. Um, but if you are just saving a downloaded image of it, then a downloaded static image, you, you know, you, you wouldn't want to put a YouTube video in that, it's similar to PDF. So since we're we are talking about how to share these um, infographics, let's go to the this download area here in case you have some questions for that. So um, with the basic uh, version, you have the ability to download a um, JPEG image of your infographic. And uh, but if you have the pro account, then you have the ability to download a high quality, which um, allows you to add it to maybe some of your marketing materials at a higher quality if it's being printed up. So, you know, just something to think about. But if you're just sharing through social media and you're just sharing online, um, you know, we do recommend a low quality so that it doesn't, um, you know, you know, hurt the speed of your website or your blog. Um, and it's, you know, you're going to want to be able to easily share it through social media. So low quality is, is going to be great there. Okay. Um, and of course, I'm not going through all of these. I just kind of want to give you a basic idea of some of the things here um, that, that you should keep in mind. Um, 
some other things, you know, you'll, you'll be able to change the color of the background. Um, if you wanted to draw lines, arrows, um, you know, steps within your infographic, then you can certainly do that. Um, we do have some standard shapes that you can add your text. So if you wanted to add uh, your own text bullets, um, you know, you can go ahead and do that as well. You don't, you're not limited to just the text boxes that are in within a template. And of course, you'll have all of your uh, text tools that you can change and uh, change the color and the font font for that. Okay, if you do have that raw data that you're looking to um, add to your infographic, then you can certainly go ahead and add um, pie charts, um, bar graphs to it. And while we have static images of these, the ones that come from this box here, from the charts button, you'll see that if you double click on the chart, you can actually go ahead and uh, import your data. So you'll see that you can drop in your data from an Excel spreadsheet, CSV file, a Google sheet, if you have a lot of information. But if you just have a few um, segments that you're adding, then you can just go ahead and um, add those in by hand. And you can go ahead and add those values yourself so um, you know this will of course change I'd have to adjust all of these but hopefully you get the idea you can change the colors again you'll have your standard colors but you'll have the full color spectrum here if you have your specific colors that you're using for um, your style guide you can relabel this so if I wanted to say I've got some social media stats I wanted to share You'll see that I can change that to something like Facebook. Um, and then, you know, if you want to show the legend, um, show the labels uh, for your chart, then you can go ahead and do that. Um, I'm just going to save my changes here, but you'll see that uh, my changes here are, are listed here and you can resize this as big or as little as you need to. So that's um, one way to go ahead and start to add your raw data if you do have, you know, the statistical uh, and, and that research behind it. So, OK, now if you have your own logos, you want to upload your own images uh, with both the basic as well as the pro account, you do have the ability to upload and add your own files. So if you wanted to go ahead and do that, you know, feel free to do that. And you can still use all of the other basic design tools here within Easily. Okay, so I hope that that was enough to get you introduced to Easily, and hopefully you have a good understanding as to how you can go ahead and get started. Now, with those project instructions that I gave you, again, think about something very small, and you know how can you make it visual for your customers? And don't don't feel like it has to be something large. You know, start small, and then once you get a little used to the design tool and how you can create things, then you can really go ahead and you know start to expand on your skill set and you know really uh, create some uh, larger uh, and more in-depth infographics okay so let's go ahead and let me go back to uh, my slide deck here and this is where I want to go into um, the the giveaway okay I want to make sure I have enough time for this and so um, Latasha I'm just checking in with you because I know I'll need your help in the chat window for this one um, are you ready for me to give the instructions for this hoping okay thank you Latasha okay so I just wanted to go over some giveaway rules okay I do want to point out that this giveaway um, is open to anyone and everyone so if you're a business or um, a nonprofit organization or even if you're an educator you are um, welcome to participate anyone is open um, to, to win this so even if you don't have a business maybe you want to use it um, in the classroom or you know for other purposes. Um, the other thing that we want to point out is that the infographic that um, our design team will design uh, for you uh, will be an A4 page in length. So uh, it'll be about a page. And so that's something that you'll want to go ahead and keep in mind. Um, we also want you to have an idea for the infographic. You don't necessarily need one right now at this point. But um, if you are going to participate, um, you know, start to think about, you know, what you may want designed um, within your infographic. And depending on the level of information that you want in that infographic, you will need to uh, get some of that information put together um, in, in a document for us. So if you um, have the time to do that, then, you know, definitely participate. 
Okay, and then we also um, will need you to be responsive to our designers' emails. You know, they really want to make sure that they're getting it right for you. So um, you, you really do need to be uh, responsive. So if they have a question about um, your idea or the information in there, uh, you know, you'll you'll definitely want to be available so that we can go ahead and complete that for you. Okay. Okay. So everyone ready? Okay. So if you're interested in participating. Um, Basically, I do have um, two questions that I want to ask, and um, if you can reply in the chat window, then uh, what we'll do is I'm going to have Latasha uh, let me know who the first three responders are um, to the questions and of course the answers just need to be reasonable of course so you know she'll also be just taking a look at that so to participate answer these two questions in the chat box so what text-based content um, will you make visual uh, in you know so based off of like business content and text co content what can you make visual and then how are how do you plan on sharing it with your customers or audience um so respond in the chat window and you know we'll take the first uh three responses and of course the responses need to be reasonable so i will let latasha be the judge of that um and and see where where we get at so I'll, i know we've got a few responses in already and uh, we'll see if we can get a few winners. So yeah, we're very excited to give away um, these infographic designs because at the end of the day, we know that as business owners or just, you know, just if you're busy with work in general, sometimes it's hard to be able to create a, a visual for your purposes. And if you don't have the design experience, it can get a little uh, hectic and you may not ever get around to it. So, um, you know, we're happy to be able to offer this. Okay. And I'm going to take a look here. It's nice to see all of the responses here. And I am like waiting uh, just to see if Awesome. Okay. So Latasha, I'm, I'm, it looks like you found some reasonable responses and it looks like we've got our three winners, um, Sally and uh, Nancy and uh, Gwen. Okay. Awesome. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Latasha. And thank you for your responses. It's also just nice to know that you guys have some ideas as well. Um, and then, like I said, um, you know, for the winners, we will get in touch with you through email. We um, should have your information through uh, the registration. If for whatever reason you don't hear from us within 24 hours, then email me um, or our support team or email um, Latasha. I'll have my email at the end on the slide or or if Latasha, if you just want to um, provide your email really quick for the winners, um, that would be helpful. And, um, you know, if for whatever reason the winners, uh, you know, decide not to go with it, then we'll, we'll come back here and see who is, who is next to win. Um, but I'm, I'm thinking that our winners should be pretty responsive here. Awesome. Well, thank you so much for participating. I hope you guys had a little fun with it. So, um, but, you know, like I said, think about all your text-based content you already have and just ask yourself the question, how can you make it visual? Go into the Easily Designer and take that text-based content, do a few searches and see what type of visuals you can pull in and see what you can create. I really think that you can um, design some really cool things. If you are interested in the Easily Pro, but you don't want to pay for it yet and you just want to check it out and see what, you know, the library of images and all the templates, um, underneath this uh, video screen, you'll see a, a green button that says Go Pro. There is a free 14-day trial. So so you can go ahead and check that trial out. Um, you'll have two weeks to um, work on that little project or assignment and see, you know, what you can create. And, you know, if it's something that you're happy with and you think that you'll be able to use quite a bit, then you'll be able to uh, save um, that uh, and continue on with that subscription. But you can certainly go ahead and um, cancel at any time. But that's a great way to test it out and try it out for yourself and see if it if it makes sense. 
Okay. Now, if you're interested in um, the pricing for Easily, I did want to give you some basic information on that. Um, I do also want to let you know what you get. So you do get more fonts with the Easily Pro account, and then you also have the ability to upload your own fonts. So you'll get a lot of the standard fonts that you've come to expect, but if you have a unique font that you use for your company or your organization, then you can upload those uh, yourself. Um, there are all also, a lot of great um, websites out there that are, uh, you know, individual users are creating um, their own fonts that you can download and then upload. Some of them are completely free. Some of them you have to pay for. So you'll, of course, want to check out some of those terms and conditions. But it's a great way to really customize your content in that way. You'll also get... Um, you know, just hundreds of uh, templates that you can use based off of your industry as a starting point. Um, you don't need to use the templates, but I really like the templates because I like to deconstruct the templates and see how those professionally designed uh, templates are being made and I kind of like to move objects around and you'll see there's a lot of layering um, uh, ways to layer images and shapes so that it creates things. So I, that's why I kind of even like to use the templates. You'll also have the ability to contact our design team. And so while our design team won't um, create the infographic for you um, through Easily Pro, uh, they will provide you with some tips on how you can improve your infographic before you go ahead and officially make it public to your customers. So that's also included in the subscription. You'll get all of the images in the object library as well as the uh, stock photos as well and um, you know it's just a great way to be able to create your own unique content especially if you don't have a lot of design experience so a, a wonderful tool now, um, the pricing for Easily Pro is very reasonable. Um, so if you are an individual user or business and you want to have access to it, it's only $36 a year. So you get all the templates, you get all of the objects in the library, and you get all of the stock photos. So if you think about what the cost could be of just uh, a stock photo and the time that you might spend on trying to determine whether or not you have the rights to use it, you know, it's already included in your Easily uh, account pro account at $36 a year. Um, for our nonprofit organizations, we do offer a discount and um, also for our teachers. So you'll need to contact us directly for those discounts, um, but we do offer a 50% discount on that. So um, for nonprofits, it's only $18 a year. For teachers, it's only $18 a year. And for teachers who want to have their students have access to it, if you pay, pay the full price, then you can get 30 free student accounts. So that's really a nice value if you're trying to get your students involved or maybe you want to give them a project where they have to um, communicate visually on an assignment. So hopefully that gives you some more information about how you can maybe use it. Now, we do also have an easily designed service. So um, this particular design service is not included in the pro account, but let's say you didn't have uh, a infographic design idea and you have all the information, you've done all the research, um, but you, know, you really just don't have time to sit down and actually create it for yourself. We do have a design service. Um, and um, this is actually, you know, what we're giving away, of course, through this this giveaway. So our design team, you can hire them. We've already hired the designer, so you save a lot of time there. Um, it's really fast. You know, once we get all of the information that we need and um, information about the template that you want to create, um, we have a 24 hour turnaround time for that. And um, you can re actually reuse the template. So uh, that template, what's nice about it is that you can actually um, upload that template or that template will sit in your library within Easily. And so you can go ahead and maybe switch out that text uh, of it when you need to. So for example, if you wanted to have like um, an infographic template that you can use maybe quarterly for your um, financial information that you might need to share with investors or maybe anyone who's invested in your company. Um, you know, we can create that template for you. And then because it's available through the Easily Library, then 
going forward, you can just go ahead and update the numbers and you know change the text as needed. But at least the template will still look nice because our designers will have created that for you. Um, so if you're interested in that, we'll provide you with some information on that as well. Um, you can actually also visit our website. Um, right now, we um, currently have the uh, infographic design service um, at a discount. So you'll be able to um, actually get an infographic designed um, for um, only $39 through this particular link. And we'll make sure that we'll provide a link to that. Um, and you can easily go ahead and just click purchase now. And, you know, we'll get in, our design team will get in, in contact uh, with you. So uh, if that's something that's of interest, then certainly consider it. But wanted to make sure that you were um, well informed about that option as well. Okay, so with that, I have about five minutes. Thank you, Latasha, for answering all of those questions. Um, I'm going to just give you uh, our contact information here, and then what I need to do is actually go into our Q&A section and see if any questions went there. I think quite a few were answered in the chat window, but I wanna make sure that I'm not missing any questions in the Q&A section. But for those of you who have to start hopping off, have a meeting to go to, may have the next class that you're teaching, um, please feel free to contact us at support at easily you can contact me directly at dinah at easily you can contact latasha um, at uh at easily as well uh, you know feel free to reach out to any of us we'll always uh re respond back and provide you with an answer or direct you in the right direction and uh thank you so much for for attending let me go ahead and go back to our uh, questions and see if there's anything lingering there okay Okay, so let's see. Oh, someone just was uh, uh, looking forward to the workshop, so I hope that you found it valuable. Awesome. Okay, can you add um, HTML to your infographic from within the, the template build? Okay, so um, we can't add HTML um, to the infographic. Um, you know, we, we will, of course, um, provide you with you know, if you're looking to embed it into a website, then we'll, we'll of course give you that code so that you can go ahead and embed it into a website or um, onto a, a blog post, or, you know, if you, you're using a learning management system, if you're an educator, then you'll be able to embed it in that way. I hope I'm answering your question, um, if I'm understanding your question correctly. Okay, um, can I create a small infographic to share on Facebook? Yeah, absolutely. So uh, you can um, create a small infographic um, to share on Facebook, um, you know, depending on the social media uh, that you're going to be using or a social media avenue you're going to be using, you, you'll want to just double check what the size is of, uh, that is best for each um outlet. Um, it's going to, of course, vary. Um, there are various resources out there that uh, will provide that information, or you can just check with, you know, Facebook or Twitter, um, you know, directly. But, you know, you'll want to make sure that you, you're, you can optimize that. One thing that I would like um, to suggest is that in most cases, it's it's better to go larger um, than smaller because it, at least with it being a larger image, then you know it'll look good um, within a if, if you shrink it down. But if you're going to make a small little image and if it needs to be enlarged for whatever reason, once you start sharing it or pushing it out, then that particular image could pixelate. So depending on how big you're going to blow it up. So something to keep in mind, but you'll definitely want to work with, you know, resizing it in advance um, so you don't have to go through all of that trouble. Okay, and will we uh, receive a link to the recording of the session? Yes, absolutely. So there's a few ways that you can access the recording. So you can um, just come back to Crowdcast here, and uh, as soon as I close out of this session, there will be uh, a replay button, and you'll be able to watch the replay immediately after. And it's also a great way to share this with anyone else who is is could be interested in learning more. And I will be uploading the recording of this to YouTube. So it will get added to our YouTube channel. And uh, we will be sending out a follow up email to everyone who registered. So you know, for people who whether you were here live or were not available, you'll have a link 
to that uh, recording as well as uh, a link to the slide. So I'm going to um, go ahead and upload the slides to um, SlideShare so that it's easily accessible for you guys. Um, and um, that's about it. So I am pretty much just on time. I'm really glad I got through all of that and all of your questions. So if you're still on here with me, Thank you so much for attending. I hope you found this valuable. I hope that you can get started right away. I hope you can launch right into easily and maybe create something. If you create something for your business, um, reach out to us at on, on Twitter and you know we'll be happy to retweet it. Um, you know, just uh, stay in touch and let us know what you create. We love to see it. So thanks and have a wonderful day. Take care. Bye bye.